Hello, class. Hello, teacher. How are you? Very good. And you? I'm good, thank you. Okay, there's Jenny, there's Anna, there's Catherine. I like that picture, Catherine. It looks nice. Hello, Anna. Jenny, you look very happy today. Yes. Good for you. Thank you. How are you, Anna? Very good, thank you. And you, teacher? I'm good, I'm good, thank you. So let me see. Let me open. So remember yesterday we were practicing comparatives, correct? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right. Yeah. Do you remember what is a short adjective? Um, is one or two syllables. Very good, one or two syllables. What is a long adjective? Three or more syllables. Three or more syllables, good. Hold on. So let's look at the video now. In the conversation we're about to listen to, the speakers use comparative adjectives. Do you remember how to compare? Stay around for the explanation. It is important to practice and understand the conversation. Listen and practice. Here's a geography quiz in the paper. Oh, I love geography. Ask me the questions. Sure, first question. Which country is larger, China or Canada? Did you hear that? Which country is larger? What is the adjective? Large. I know. Canada is larger than China. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the Americas? Hmm, I think it's the Mississippi. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded, Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more. Which South American capital city is the highest? La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Oh, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. Hello and welcome back. Remember there are different types of adjectives? That's right. We have short adjectives, long adjectives and irregular adjectives. With that in mind, now we'll study the supremacy attention of to... adjectives. Please stay around and pay attention to the explanation as well as the audio program. Comparisons with adjectives. Which country is larger, Canada or China? Canada is larger than China. Which city has the largest population, Tokyo, Mexico City or Sao Paulo? Tokyo has the largest population of the three. What is the most beautiful mountain in the world? I think Mount Fuji is the most beautiful. Adjective, comparative, superlative, long, longer, the longest. Dry, drier, the driest. 
big, bigger, the biggest. Famous, more famous, the most famous. Beautiful, more beautiful, the most beautiful. Good, better, the best. Bad, worse, the worst. Let's review comparative adjectives. We use the comparative adjectives to compare two people, places, or things. They are used in sentences where two nouns are compared in this pattern. Noun or subject plus verb plus comparative adjective plus than plus noun or object. Let's not forget what happens with short, long, and irregular adjectives. Study this chart and take notes as you do so. Take a look at these examples. They are applying the rules. My house is bigger than her house. His room is tidier than her room. The red car is more expensive than the blue one. Ready to learn about superlative adjectives? Superlative adjectives are used to describe an object which is at the upper or lower limit of a quality. They are used in sentences where a subject is compared to a group of objects. Here, let me give you a bit, uh, easier explanation. First, we understand, you understand um, comparatives, correct? You compare. When you compare, you need adjectives, correct? Yes. Good. <clears throat> now, the adjective, if it's a short adjective or long adjective, it's no problem. The difference is the grammar. Short adjective, er, long adjective, more. Correct? So, Beida, Karen? Yes, teacher. Okay. Um, más o menos. Remember yesterday, the class? Yes. Okay. Um, con... ¿Quién entiende? Eh, lo que no entiendo eh, es que hay unas que eh, se le antepone el, el de, el de, de be, por ejemplo, de biggest. No, o and, que se ese ignore ahorita, el... porque ese que vamos a hacer ahorita, el biggest. Uh, ah, eso es ok, es ok. Ahorita estamos en er y more. Ajá, porque eso es lo que no entendía, porque cuando mm -hmm. se le pone... More or most? Some okay, good. I will explain. But I sabe cuando se le pone more. Eh, eso es lo que no no le entiendo mucho que porque porque hay algunas que se les pone more y porque hay otras que se le pone more. Okay, ahorita solo necesito que sepa more. Okay. Okay, because you compare more beautiful. More ex do you know what is expensive, Karen? Uh, expensive. Do you understand expensive? Mm, yes. Give me an example. What is expensive? Um Estaba viendo un, un Juan Valdez Coffee, tiene una oferta de mangoneada, una bebida mangoneada chiquita, a $4.95 solamente, es una oferta del mes. That's expensive. Um, no, yeah. teacher, no, no, no sabría decir. Listen to my example. Um, do you like Pampa Argentina? Yes. La Pampa Argentina is expensive. Y ha ido a Faisca de Brasil. No. It's very expensive. Do you understand expensive? Oh, es mm, más amplio o mejor. 
Don Pollo oh. is not expensive. Oh, yeah. Pollo Real is expensive. Ya, ahora sí. Ya voy agarrando el, el hilo de la clase. Okay. Yes. Gracias. Okay. Okay. So, class, remember, short adjective is two syllables, one or two syllables, correct? Yes. And, and long adjectives is three syllables or more. So, when we compare two people, we compare two objects, we use an adjective. Catherine, compare Catherine and Sobeida. The verb, I'm sorry, the adjective is young. Give me an example, Anna. I'm sorry, Catherine, how old are you? Hi, teacher. Hi, Who, uh, how old are you? Uh, 26. Okay, good. So, Anna, can you give me an example of Catherine and Sobeida and the adjective is young? Um, how old survey that teacher? The adjective is young. I am 28 years. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. That was your question. How, how... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, Catherine uh, is no, I, younger I, I, than okay. Zoveida. Very good. Catherine is younger than Zoveida. Excellent. But what is the question? Mm. Um. Wow. Okay, who? Catherine and Sobeida are people, correct? Yes, yes. So, who? We, so who, who? Okay. Who is? Who is young? Younger. Younger. Who is younger, uh, Catherine or Sobeida? Excellent. Mm -hmm. And Catherine is younger than Sobeida. Very good. Very, very good. Is this correct? Who is younger, Sobeida or McDonald's? No, no, it's correct. No. <laughs> it's not coherent. Not coherent, right? Mm. Aunque grammatically, maybe se los paso bien, <laughs> but really, really, you can't compare Sobeida and McDonald's. Can you compare? Can you compare? Um, let me give you an example. Oh, what? Dangerous. What is dangerous? Peligroso. Peligroso. Okay, good. Excuse me. El Salvador is dangerous. Except in these days. Por lo menos un mes después hemos tenido. I went to San Rafael Cedros two weeks ago, maybe. Man, all the police and the army and toda la calle. Okay, dangerous. Let me see. Distrito Italia, ¿dónde queda eso? En Apopa, ¿verdad? Right? Sí, I don't know. It's dangerous, correct? Bastante, bastante. Yeah. <laughs> Decían de que hasta la misma policía pagaba renta por entrar. <laughs> no. Okay, so where, o sea, Distrito Italia is a place. So I can ask, where is more dangerous? in Distrito Italia or in La Campanera? Hmm? 
or where is more dangerous, in Apopa or Soyapango? I think Apopa is more dangerous or son than Soyapango. That's Soyapango. Good. Maybe Soyapango is more dangerous because you know why? Because Soyapango is bigger. Maybe. I don't know. Hey, San Salvador is dangerous. La Sacamil. Um, la Chacra. Voy a perderse con solo ir el nombre, La Chacra. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's dangerous. Okay, so we understand comparatives, correct? Correct. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, now we're going to do superlatives. Superlatives, we don't compare. Superlatives now is in general. La misma reglas. Short adjective is one or two syllables. Pero hoy no decimos er, hoy decimos est. Big, bigger, biggest. Tall? Tallest. Tallest. Um, ugly? Ugliest. Ugliest. Ugliest, good. And if the, if the syllable is, I'm sorry, if the adjective is three syllables or more, then we say most. Most. For example, what is the superlative of beautiful? Most beautiful. Most beautiful. Could you be the most beautiful girl in the world? Remember that song? It, is, there, is necessary and, and, and use the most beautiful? Yes. Um, yes, but now listen to my question. So. Okay. Because this is in general, I'm not going to compare anymore. I don't want to compare Catherine and Sobeida. Now I want to speak general in the class. Who is the youngest in the class? Nothing. I'm not comparing anymore. Yeah. I, it's very important to say the, que, the group, the, the class. Okay. Porque si le digo, who is the youngest? Or what? Mm -hmm. in, in your family? In the, okay, so who is the youngest in the class? Catherine is a younger. Youngest. A youngest. Uh, in the class. In the class. Yes, maybe Kath, yeah, Catherine is 26. Is somebody younger than 26? Me, I am 24. We <laughs> teacher. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, so Catherine is the youngest in the class. Yes? Now, why superlative? Porque quiero saber en general, no quiero saber solo de dos personas específicos. Si solo quiero saber de Sobeida y Catherine, pregunto, okay, I compare. Who is younger, Catherine or Sobeida? But if I am interested in the class, who is the youngest in the class? Teacher. Yes. Ya me confundí. <laughs> Sorry. Um, okay. con lo, uh, superlatives. superlatives. Mm -hmm. Yes. A comparative, um, las two reglas. Okay, wait, number one, first. Comparatives, you compare. Okay. Yes? In superlatives, 
no compare. Superlatives is in general. Oh, okay. So remember in comparatives, I compare you and Sobeida. Okay. Who is younger, Catherine or Sobeida? I'm comparing. In superlatives, no. It's in general. So the class. Who is the youngest in the class? So in pocas palabras es el más, la más, o el menos y lo menos. Ok. Eh, cuando sea superlativo, solo se le va a agregar la... Er, e es. A short es. adjectives. Y a long adjectives, yeah. most. Most. Ah, ok. Teacher, give me a one example for use the most. Yes, um, that was my next... Okay. My next example. Okay, so Beda, you work in La Gran Vía, correct? Yes, teacher. <laughs> Which is the most expensive restaurant in La Gran Vía? I think the most expensive restaurant is Tucson in La Gran Vía. Okay, good. Ah, oh, but Tucson is good. Yes, it's delicious. <laughs> okay, very good. Good, good answer. Okay, Jenny? Um, no, teacher. Okay, but listen listen to my conversation with Sobeida. Sobeida okay. works in La Gran Vía. So that's my general okay. right there, La Gran Vía. So okay. my question is, um, Sobeida, which is the most expensive restaurant in La Gran Vía? I think the most expensive restaurant is Tucson and La Gran Vía. Good. Do you understand, Jenny? Yeah. Okay. But in this in this case, is use the most on the end or the beginning? I think the beginning. Yes, at the beginning. Because okay. I said... Before the adjective? Yes. Oh, yes. Before the adjective. For example, um, the teacher is the most beautiful person in the class. Example in, okay. in, rea in reality, not mentiras. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let, let's speak in general, El Salvador. No, no, quedémonos in, in um, geography. Geography. Anna, which is the smallest country in Central America? Dun, 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 I, dun, 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 dun. I don't understand mullet. Okay, so listen. Which is the smallest country in Central America? Small. Incluso uh, creo que okay. hasta ya lo adoptamos In, esa palabra en español. ¿Qué talla es? A small. Yeah. The smallest country in Central America. Okay. The smallest in the Central America is El Salvador. Yes. Belize is considered Central America now? Aún no. Uh, no. Yes. No, but I don't think I don't think but, it's considered Central America aún yet, pero sí ya se reúne. And it's part of the. It's part of the. Um, ¿Cómo se llama? ¿Cómo se llama la nación? No, no, no la nación. Ur continent. No. Eh. Africa, Europe. 
No, Centroamérica es, es el, el mismo yeah. región, región, region. It's like Panama, nunca se sabe que son. Okay. Bueno, teacher, ellos, and the, yeah. teacher, and the answer with Ana, um, I think in the El Salvador is the smallest in Central America. It's yes. correct? Yes. Okay. Pero, porque mi pregunta fue, Ana, which is the smallest country in Central America? Uh -huh. Pero imagínense, yo solo le hubiera dicho, Ana, which is the smallest country? Maybe it's difficult. El porque... Salvador. <laughs> no, porque no, estoy, no sé si estoy hablando en America, in the world, in Central mm -hmm. America. Yes, so you have to be more specific. Okay. Um, Catherine. Yes, <laughs> Which is the most expensive zone in El Salvador? <laughs> Repeat, please. Yes. Which is the most expensive zone in El Salvador? Zone. Mm. You know, like Santa Elena, Zaragoza, mm. Escalon, zone. It's similar oh. Spanish, zone. Zona. Okay. Um, okay. Um, the song at Zona no es adjetivo. So listen okay. to my question. The 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 mm, the most expensive so, so. song is Escalon. Okay, maybe, yeah, maybe. Or oh, Zaragoza now. <laughs> Ya, yeah, oh. todo eso entre nubes, los sueños, todo eso es donde vive Bukele. Cuando van al puerto, nunca ah. han visto todas esas zonas. Ya, yeah, todo eso. Sí. No, 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 not, no, no el puerto, puerto, no. Oh, wow. When you go, ah, okay. eh, like, um, Zaragoza, you, yes. uh -huh. you see all the beautiful house. Ahí se están yendo los ricos hoy. Oh. Que empezaron en el escalón. <laughs> Después, ¿se acuerdan que se fueron moviendo a Santa Elena? Y hoy se están escapando de Santa Elena porque Santa Elena se ha hecho bien feo. O sea, no de peligroso, sino que se ha hecho bien industrial. Y es bien feo, o sea, no sé si han pasado ahí como tipo 5 de la tarde. Man, es... La gente se fue ahí porque dice, hey, quiero ir lejos de la ciudad. Y pobrecita, la alcaldesa ahí metió bastantes empresas. Entonces genera mucho, mucho tráfico. Entonces todos los ricos de ahí hoy están vendiendo y se están yendo más lejos a Zaragoza. Ahí está entre nubes, no, eh, las nubes, las piletas, all those beautiful houses. Beautiful, beautiful houses. Yo me iba a comprar una ahí, pero mucho tráfico. Mejor San Jacinto, ¿verdad? Yeah, I prefer San Jacinto. Está más cerca. Okay, very good. So remember, superlative is in general. So, so Beida, what is the superlative of expensive? Most expensive. Good. 
So, Beida, in your opinion, which is the most expensive restaurant? In the country? Yeah, in El Salvador. Mm. I think the most expensive restaurant in El Salvador is Faica Brasil. Yeah, Faisca de Brasil. That's expensive. Yes. For the moment, I think Faisca Brasil. Yeah. I think the most expensive restaurant in El Salvador is Mr. Donut. Really? Because, okay, Faisca Brasil is very expensive, yes, but it's high quality food. Okay. And the service is excellent. Okay. Go to Mr. Donut, carne guisada, man. This comida de comedor, which is very good. I like it. I love it. But you go to Mr. Donut. Ademe carne guisada, arroz, y ensalada, y una horchata. How much? Seven dollars. Like seven dollars. Y uno tiene que llevar su comida. O sea, Mr. Donut es un comedor. Okay. With precios de high at the restaurant. Okay. But the coffee is good. And the horchata is good. La donas. <laughs> but, but you know what? For $7, for $7, I prefer to eat in, in Los Cebollinas all you can eat breakfast. Yeah. Yeah. But Faisca de Brasil is very expensive, but it's very good. Okay. okay, so you understand? You understand now? Okay, Karen. Yes. In El Salvador, which is the biggest department in El Salvador? Mm. Uh, um, the biggest department in Salvador is um, La Unión. La Unión. I don't know. Let's yes. check. Let's check. Yeah, maybe la watch la tenango speak too. La tenango me dijo que Alfredo ya habló con ella y Rosa a ver Maybe la Uselotan is big too. Look. That's difficult. <laughs> yes. Yes. Let's see. San Vicente too. Departamento de San Salvador es el departamento más poblado. No, tiene mucha población. No. ¿Cuál es el departamento más poblado? No, I don't. Es que usted le puso en la boca. Extensión. Ajá. Oh, man. O oh, sea, auto, auto. Más grande. El departamento de La Paz para tener zona de un departamento donde está. El departamento de Usulután se encuentra ubicado en el pueblo de El Salvador. Usulután es el biggest department. Wow. Ajá. So Usulután, Karen. Ok, teacher. Entonces dígame, Usulután es el, país, el departamento más grande de El Salvador. Eh... The niño. Uh, the, the, no, the biggest. No. Ay, espérame, espérame. Que ya me perdí. <laughs> eh, Usulután. The, Usulután is the biggest no, department. No, is the department. Mm, 
Ay, no, ya me perdí. Yeah, no, this is really, this is not very complicated. So, Usulután is the biggest department in El Salvador. Usulután is the biggest department, uh, department in El Salvador. Good. Uh, Jenny, what is the, uh, what is the superlative of popular? Popular. Mm -hmm. Most popular. Good. Who is the most popular person in El Salvador? I don't know, but I think the most popular um, president. That, yeah, maybe yeah. in this moment is the president or Mexico Gonzalez. Yeah. Okay, that... bueno malo, but the most popular maybe in this moment is Bukele, right? Yeah. Okay, but you see, Jenny, I don't know. So you say, okay, I don't know, but maybe the most popular person in El Salvador is the president. Okay. All right. So that is superlatives. Um, I have a question, and sure. and the. Uh, but in the old question, I hear wish. Is only the as it says wish. Do you remember yesterday the difference between when do we say which? Uh, I don't know, but no remember. Uh, which is the the prettiest woman in the class? Pero una Period. woman, no, no, un ejemplo, uh -huh. pero una mujer es persona, entonces para persona usamos who, no who? usamos which. Uh -huh. ¿Cuándo usamos which? Para objects. Ok. Por ejemplo, yo le pregunté, who is the most popular person in El Salvador? Not which is. Uh -huh. That's the difference. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. So let's go back to the video. Now listen to the explanation of superlatives. Let's, let's look at this video one more time, look. Hello and welcome back. Remember there are different types of adjectives? That's right. We have short adjectives, long adjectives, and irregular adjectives. With that in mind, now we'll study the superlative of adjectives. Please stay around and pay attention to the explanation as well as the audio program. Comparisons with adjectives. Which country is larger, Canada or China? Canada is larger than China. Which city has the largest population, Tokyo, Mexico City, or Sao Paulo? Tokyo. Okay, um, really, 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 that question is not correct because he mentions three cities. Yes? No? Yes? Tokyo, Tokyo, Which city Mexico? has the largest population? Tokyo, Mexico City, or Sao Paulo? Which city has the largest population? Tokyo, Mexico City, or Sao Paulo? Si se dan cuenta, he's comparing. So really, really, gramaticalmente no está buena esa pregunta. ¿Cómo tendría que haber sido? Which city is larger? Mexico, Sao Paulo, o Tokio. Y si quería saber en general cómo hubiera sido la, la pregunta correcta.
which city is the most? The most what? Mm. Population. Which is the largest city oh. in the world? Class entienden. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Eh, entonces, si se dan cuenta que aquí él dijo, ¿cuál es la ciudad más grande? Tokio, México o Sao Paulo. Cuando realmente tuvo que haber sido, ¿cuál ciudad es más grande? Tokio, México o Sao Paulo. Let's compare. Es como yo, lo que yo les dije hoy, no puedo decir quién es la más joven, Catherine o Sobeida. Who is the youngest, Catherine or Sobeida? No, that's not superlative, that's comparative. I am comparing. So, mal, mal por este audio. Tokyo has the largest population of the three. What is the most beautiful mountain in the world? Ahí está bien. What is the most beautiful mountain in the world? Vieron que dijo in the world, so it's in general. Or you can say, which is the most beautiful volcano in El Salvador? I think Mount Fuji is the most beautiful. Adjective, comparative, superlative, superlative, long, longer, the longest, dry, drier, the driest, big, bigger, the biggest, famous, more famous, the most famous, beautiful, more beautiful, the most beautiful. Good, better, the best. Bad, worse, the worst. Let's review comparative adjectives. We use the comparative adjectives to compare two people, places, or things. They are used in sentences where two nouns are compared in this pattern. Noun or subject plus verb, plus comparative adjective, plus than, plus noun or object. Let's not forget what happened. Miren, a mí personalmente, no, no sé si les dije esto en la primera clase, no me gustan mucho las explicaciones bien técnicas. Así como ella dice, primero va el noun, el adjective, el adverb, el subject, el bla, 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 bla. Es mentira, nadie se acuerda de eso. <laughs> Remember, o sea, nadie se queda. Wait, wait, espérate, pero primero va el noun. Porque después hay que acordarse todo. ¿Cuál es el noun? Espérate, ¿qué es el subject? ¿Qué, qué es el, qué? Blah, blah, blah. So, prefiero mejor la otra explicación. La... Hay, hay, hay una cosa que se llama kiss. ¿Saben cómo se escribe kiss? K I D. Yes. Q, Q U I Z. Kiss. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, I keep it simple and silly. Manténganlo simple y divertido. Eso es qué es. Es que hay, hay dos formas. Yo le digo a clase. I can give you the, the technical explanation or the kiss. Kiss es manten, mantengámoslo simple. Like. Pero eso depende cómo a ustedes les gusta aprender. Porque no les queda mal que a veces van donde un doctor y le dice, doctor, ¿qué tengo? ¿Qué me pasó? Fíjese que 
el ligamento superior izquierdo del, ten, del tendonitis y no sé qué, y le empieza a hablar todo de... Ajá. Entonces tiene un no sé qué superior pegado al ligamento y no sé qué, oh my God. Dude, mala onda porque él estudió 10 años para hablar así y se le olvida que no sabemos absolutamente nada de eso. Entonces me puede explicar mejor. Ok, esta es su rodilla y estos son ligamentos y usted se lastimó acá. Oh, ok. La misma explicación, pero. One, una fue kiss. Keep it simple. Y la otra fue bien technical. Bien university. Por eso les puedo haber dicho, mira, aquí okay, un comparativo es cuando usamos un adjetivo para comparar dos sujetos, objetos. Uh -huh. Ejemplo, entonces ponemos primero el sujeto más el auxiliar más el adjetivo. Lo comparamos y terminamos con el segundo sujeto. Y toda la gente se queda, ajá, ajá, ajá. Ok. Bah, no se acuerdan. Man. So I prefer eso que les dije. Short adjective, one or two syllables. Remember yesterday? Beautiful. Three syllables. Ugly. Ugly. Two syllables. So one or two syllables is short. Consider short adjective. Three syllables or more, consider long adjective. So, ahí está todo. So, we compare. So, superlatives. Short adjectives terminan est. Long adjective, most. And the adjective. Most. Yes. Um, women, let me see. Women, which are the most expensive shoes? Um, the most expensive shoes is Cat. Caterpillar? Yes. Okay. No, but I, I am talking <laughs> I am talking about like women's shoes. Um I don't know, Fifth Avenue, um uh, Michael Kors, no 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 Michael no, Madden no, no, Madden. No, no. I, 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 um I don't know. Uh, uso tenis. Pero I, I, there are expensive tennis shoes. Nike, <laughs> Nikes yes. are expensive. Nike. Nike. Yes, Nike. Reebok. Mm -hmm. Adidas. Lacoste. Do, Lacoste. Those are expensive shoes. I like All Star. All my life, All Star. Hasta I hoy, like, hoy viejo I like, los All Stars. I like Nicole Lee. What? Nicole Lee. Nicole Lee. Okay, good. Yes. <laughs> okay, very good. Yeah, because women things are expensive. Um. Look, this is my stress. It's cute. Than me. But it's nice, it's stress. It's, it's like a... Mm. Okay, so now, vamos a hacer una cosa. Yo le voy a dar la respuesta, pero ustedes denme la pregunta. Okay? Okay. Es un okay, poco más difícil, porque todos estamos acostumbrados a ver la pregunta y solo dar la mm -hmm. respuesta. Mm -hmm. so, yes. Think you have to think here, okay? Let me see, Anna. Chocolate is the best ice cream. Ooh. 
What is? Oh, I'm sorry. Let best? me finish. Ah. Chocolate is the <laughs> best ice cream for me. What is the best chocolate for you? Oh, no, no, no. No, no chocolate. Uh -huh. What is the best? Uh, the best drink? Ice cream. Uh, drink, ice cream. Uh. Do you understand ice cream? Um, Neveria, Saritas, mm -hmm. Boston. Okay, so repeat the question. Okay. What is the best? Uh, ice cream for you. Very good. Chocolate is the best ice cream for me. Did I mention ah, okay, Rocky okay. Road is the best ice cream for me? I love Rocky Road. Do you know Rocky Road? No. It's no. Um, chocolate, almendra, and marshmallow. In Boston, it's very good. It's very good ice cream. I don't eat chocolate. What? Really? Yes. Why? For health. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, you don't drink soda, you don't drink coffee. Chocolate. Oh, man. De modo. <laughs> <laughs> no oh, sé cómo decirle, pero solo me conformo con, con, con sentir el aroma de esas delicias porque ya no las no la como. Oh, man. <laughs> Admiro su fuerza de voluntad. <laughs> yes. Okay. Catherine. Okay, teacher. Um Metro Centro is the biggest mall in El Salvador. Okay. Metro Centro. With is the biggest in El Salvador? The biggest what? Okay. So I go similar to Ana. Okay, so listen okay, to, okay. Listen, listen um, to my answer. Metro Centro is the biggest mall in El Salvador. Ah, okay. Which is the biggest mall in El Salvador? Excellent. Uh, Metro Centro is the biggest mall in El Salvador. Okay, Jenny. Soyapango yeah. is the most populated city in El Salvador. Which is the most populated, what say the word? Populated. Uh, populated. 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 Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, bye. Okay, muy bien. Diga po, pu, po, pu, pu, later. Later. Ah, populated. Hoy, hoy, exactly. Okay. Mira, ahí hay un buen ejemplo. Le voy a, le voy a dar un, un, una clave. Okay. Yes, that was difficult. Populated. Okay, four syllables. Populated. Populated. Four. Digámoslo en tres. Populated. Let's say it in two. Pop you. Pop you. Late. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not in tres. Pop you. Late. Two. Pop you. Late. 
Sí, díganlo. O sea, digan, si lo necesitan decir en cuatro, en cinco, hasta que lo digan bien. Okay. Es como decir refrigerador. Enséñele okay. eso, que le digan a un gringo que diga refrigerador. What? Refrigerador. What? Igual en inglés, refrigerator. Refrigerator. Uh -huh. oh, very good. <laughs> Pero a veces son como pupusa. Pop, pop, what? Entonces you say papu, papu, sa, sa, okay. Papu, sa, papu, sa. Two, okay, one. Papusa. Ah, very good. Okay, so one more time. Um, Soyapango okay. is the most populated city in El Salvador. Which is the most populated, populated, okay? Which is it for me? <laughs> okay. Which is the most populated um, um, the zone? So the zone or, or city? No. City. No. City. Mm -hmm. Okay, which is most populated city in El Salvador? Very good. So Yapango is the most populated city in, okay. in El Salvador. Okay. Okay. Populated yeah. is poblado, right? Yeah. Very, very good. Okay, let me see who's okay. next. Sobeida. Easy teacher, please. <laughs> 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 All right. So, Beta, imagine you're in a situation where you don't know what to do. You get on the bus and then you're lost. And so you're just looking around and then this person comes on. And then what would you do right there? Okay. No, I'm joking. <laughs> lo entendí, lo entendí. <laughs> oh, very good. Very good. Ni yo, ni yo supe que dije, so All right. Okay. Um, so, Beta. Um, La Unión is the hottest department in El Salvador. Okay. Which is the holler? Hot. Holder? The, remember, the adjective is hot. Hot, hottest? Hot. No. L listen to my uh, example. Uh -huh. La Unión is the hottest department in El Salvador. Okay, which is the most, no, the hottest department in El Salvador? Very good. Hottest. Hottest. La Unión is the hottest department in El Salvador. Excellent. Hottest. Got it. Okay. Yes, teacher. All, All right. right. <laughs> which is the most expensive store for women in El Salvador. Store, clothes store. Tienda de ropa for women. Mm -hmm. For example, Sara. Sara is for women, no? Yes. Yes. Sara is the most expensive. No, it's that Sara, I don't know, Forever 21, um, Victoria's Secret, um, I don't know, many stores. Ba Bershka. Sí, Bershka. Man. Bershka. But only for women. Ah, okay. Yeah. Um... The, the most expensive is uh, for me is Bertka. Bertka, okay. Yes, yes. 
<laughs> yes. Bershka is the most expensive um, store. Bershka is in Galerias, no? Yes. In Galerias. In La Gran Vía, too. Oh, in Gran Vía, too. Mire, so wait, los dueños de La Gran Vía, Simán, ¿verdad? Sí, dicho. Y Galerias, too. Okay. Sí, también. Okay. Okay, so do you understand? Hey, very good class. Porque hicimos algo diferente. Yo en vez de hacer la pregunta, le di la respuesta. Ustedes miran la, la pregunta. So very good. Ahí se ponen, ahí piensa más uno. Como, what? So good job, okay? So thank you. I will see you tomorrow. Okay, thank, thank you, teacher. You're thank welcome. You, teacher. Bye, bye. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye, class. Bye. Bye, Karen. Bye, teacher. Sí, le dije, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Karen nunca va a poner usted su cámara, ¿verdad? Um, es que me da pena. ¿Por qué? <laughs> <laughs>